He's back. Luka the Don Doncic back in action for Dallas. Pretty much missed two games. He left in the first quarter of the Mavs matchup with the Suns on Thursday. Missed the Dallas Mavericks Saturday game. And let's just say Monday, Luka was very fresh. A 7-for-8 start to this basketball game. He was just lighting the Pistons up in the first quarter. Pretty much everything was falling for the Don. More on him in a second. But first things first, Sadiq Bey knocks in the triple to give the Pistons the three-point lead in the second. Bogdanovich, name been involved in a lot of trade talk and speculations. Reportedly, Pistons got a high asking price. I'm showing you why you should have him on your team. Pistons up in the third. It's Jalen Durant throwing it down off the rebound. And then Sadiq Bay again knocking in a three. Pistons up by 10. A lot of chirping, by the way, by both of these teams in this basketball game. The Dunn, though, will get the last words of this one. Luka blowing past Detroit. That's what you call defense? And then Spencer Dinwiddie, speaking of blowing past, he's been in his bag as of late. He didn't call a couple people slipping. Dinwiddie had 12 points. Trust and believe, though, it was his right-hand man that covered his season average and then some. Bogdanovich had 29 points. That three-pointer gets the Pistons within one possession. But Luka from here says, may I have this dance? That's why I love Luka. When he gets in that post area, there's just not too many guards that are strong enough to do anything with him. Killian Haynes in no man's land there. Bogdanovich is like, hold on, anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. The Don says, no, you can't, and I meant it. Luka off his pivot, putting the Mavs up four with 45 seconds to go. The chirping continues between Luka and Pistons assistant coach Jerome Allen. Allen would be teed up. Luka can't afford too many more techs. He's already got 11 this year. The Dallas Mavericks gets the six-point win behind a 53-point effort from the Don. Rest did him well. His fourth 50-point game of the season, fifth of his career. Mavs win by six. Yeah, after the game, Luka, in his post-game interview, he flatfoot said that the Detroit Pistons were kind of chirping at him all game. Keep in mind, he had missed a couple games. I don't know if Detroit thought Luka would be rusty, but one thing I've learned about Doncic, if you give him a couple days rest, he's going to destroy you. Like, rest for Luka is always good. There are guys in the league, by the way, that if they take a, a few days off, they need a game or two to get back in rhythm. Uh, not Doncic. If he gets some rest, he's going to tear you up. That's why he's been so deadly after the All-Star break pretty much his entire career. Now, he ain't even struggling to come into the year. I'm afraid for the league to see where Luka lands second half of the season again. When this dude gets rest, he's really, really great and pretty much unstoppable. And when he gets within that three-point line in that painted area, I keep telling y'all, this dude is unreal. A 53-point effort for the Don Luka Doncic, who just continues to torch teams 53 for Luka in a, a light night's work. Dude went off. He didn't get a lot of help from the other Dallas Mavericks starters. He didn't need it. The Dunn does what the Dunn's going to do off the tops, which put in work. I love that he said he ain't scared, too, in that post-game interview. You know, we keep using, you know, the Kobe reference too loosely with a lot of guys around the league. This guy reminds me of Kobe. This guy reminds me of Kobe. There are two athletes right now. When I look at them, I see Kobe Bryant, the mentality. Joe Burrow in the NFL and Luka Doncic in the NBA. I don't think Luka's friendly with all these guys in the league. He'll chirp back at anybody in the league. He ain't afraid. I like that Luka Doncic has embraced this Kobe mentality of, you good, I respect your game, but be clear, we ain't friends, bro. I'm here to play ball, go home, and then come back to work the next day to play ball.